Do you look forward to the holy month of Ramadan every year? Yes. I <laughs> honestly <laughs> definitely I look forward for that month actually. That's a spiritual actually. I love that month of Ramadan actually. It brings so joy to your heart. Um so yeah, I know it's not easy. It's yeah. not easy. We have the 18, 19 hour fast and of course we all dread that. But I find that extremely a good opportunity. Yeah, not only it's so hard, hard, but I just love sitting with my family all the time. Like it's like because we're so busy, it's like we never get time to like sit down. And my mom makes the most beautiful feast, so it's like I never get food though throughout the whole year. And this is the only time of the year I get food. I've never been invited for that. You've always been invited. You just never come. <laughs> I'm not spending money on the Ramadan. <laughs> not really. So not buying any no, food at Honestly, no, no. Honestly, no. Um. Yes and no. Uh, yes, because it's a time for spiritual renewal right. and a deeper connection and a time for self-reflection. But, but no, because of the physical aspect. Mm. I think I think personally, yeah. the holy month of Ramadan is it's a very peaceful month that we all should consider it going forward. To be fair. Yes and no. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to spending time with family and like the spirituality of it. But not eating is hard. <laughs> How do you feel at the end of the day after fasting for 18 hours? Um, well, I feel like... Um, well, first of all, I turn into a vegetable. <laughs> and after I eat, I just go on the sofa. <laughs> first of all, to be fair, if you're, if you're fasting, mm -hmm. you get exhausted. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you eat, you feel bloated. Mm -hmm. Yeah I, yeah, I don't remember. The thing is, I don't remember how I feel in Ramadan after Ramadan is over. But I know that I feel so tired and I just so drained. But yeah. I also feel like so good. Like, you know, I feel like proud of myself. Like, you give myself it. a pat on my back, you know. Well done. <laughs> you, 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 but you have to. So obviously, there's, the, you, you eat, yeah. you finish eating. And then I believe that you do prayers. Just to, just to, to, well, to bless up to what you've, you've done. And make some prayers as well. Make some dua. <clears throat> of course, it's a blessing main. month, actually. And then more of the question that says 18 hours. Obviously, you fast for 18 hours because obviously we live in the West. So it's kind of, you know, 18 hours a day of fasting. Um, I would say spend the day with read. I mean, if you're at work, at work. If you're not at work, just spend it reading Quran, going for a dua. You know, take a, you know, take advantage of that day. Actually. Do you do that? Definitely I'll do that, yes. I think the last hour is the worst, yeah. um, but I actually have make it a habit that um, I actually just try to eat fruit and dates sure first. The reason being is because I know as every human being does, you just put in the onion bhajis and stuff. Oh, cool. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. And then if I'm feeling a little extra hungry, then I'll treat myself to something I extra. See. That's... Uh, <laughs> That's a horrible question. <laughs> I'm definitely not. No, not at the moment. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, I personally think. I personally think that we've got we. I I have to respect the holy month of Ramadan because it's a very important month. Not every day. No, you know, maybe I may have done less than thirty days. Yeah. Because obviously we all know how great the blessings are, yeah. but. It takes a lot of willpower. It takes a it lot of willpower. And I think that's one of the reasons why Allah made it wajib. It's not that hard. Like once you've done a few days, it's not that bad. It becomes part of your routine. Yeah, but realistically, you know, those extra days that we have within the year, do you fast them? Sometimes. <laughs> so it, it, it's, like, it's something that I hope to do, but I think it's I, the, the temptation of food and drink that actually stops me because otherwise I'm fine with fasting like no yeah. no other aspect of fasting bothers me it's literally just like the drinking I don't think so choices should be the right word to use mm. to be fair Ramadan is it's, it's a month that we all have to follow what we guided to do and then to gain extra blessing you should be blessed every day I think that's in my opinion I, I would wait till the days were shorter. Shorter, yes. I, I, I can see the bashing for your eyes about Ramadan, <laughs> mashallah. Are you going to fast this year? I'll, I'll be very honest, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, yes. Oh, okay. Have you ever been guilty of pretending to fast in front of your parents? 
Yeah. yeah. As in, when I was younger, yeah, definitely. Like, like I said, drink from the fountain, go open the cereal box, stuff my hand in there, <laughs> just put, put them in. But that was like when I was first starting to fast, or like when I was like nine, 10 years yeah. old. But after that, it was fine because earlier it was, you know, you'd break your fast around like four or five o'clock. It was easy. It was much it was so easier. So easy. Uh, what was that, Spamida? <laughs> yes, because um, my mum was running around, you know, making sure that everything was prepared. I'd sort of rock up with the kids who mm. had run me ragged the whole day. So busy mum. Busy, both, busy mom. Both very mm. busy. So for me to sort of say to her why I'm not fasting, mm. it was easier for me just to not eat. I've always been guilty in front of my colleagues, to be fair, when I'm at work yeah. and I try to eat and then there are the people around me that were fasting. No, I'm, I'm better than you. I've never done that, Femina. <laughs> And now we fast like 18 hours and we broke our fast at nine. Oh, yeah. I'm really worried for summer. <laughs> so I wasn't lying and saying, mummy, I'm fasting. Right. And I wasn't saying, mummy, I'm not fasting. Mm. I just left it as it was. There were no questions, no, no. answers and understood. Don't ask, don't yeah. tell sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. However, a friend of my parents, no. Well, I felt guilty actually. That I because I, because I, I, I was very open and honest with him. So... My, fa my, my family is different to compare to my friends. Because if I do it in front of my friends, my friends, they're going to be like saying, oh, you know. So what's the point? No, but why can with, you your, why with your can family, you with your family between... it's understandable because they know you why you're not mm. fasting and that. But in but front you of your be friends... honest between friends. Should... Yeah, but at work is different. The, 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 the people surrounding you, they're going to be thinking of you differently. So they might, you might, they might say, you know, oh, Madhad, why are you not fasting? They give you lecture and all that kind of etc. And I, I just don't like it. I've, I've felt under pressure. I have felt, uh, yes, it's when there's been a lot, like a, a gathering. Yeah. Or I've all often felt, yeah, but no, never no, been forced. No, no, no. If I told my mum, listen, I can't, she would just be like, yeah, well. Um, oh. Yes, I was actually. At some point when I was young, um, I used to fast from nine in the morning to 12. So was, that, was actually someone on top of you saying, you have to fast. Yeah, look at, let me finish my story first. No, yeah, the thing is, my parents, they, they never been like, no, you have to fast, but it was that expectation that you need to fast. The second, like, you know, you know what fasting means, you start fasting. I think for me, no, I've never been forced. It's- You sure? Yeah, your mom said that the other day. 100%, I have never been forced to be- I remember you said once honest. your mom starts slapping you like- No, 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 I think it's, it's a sort of, it's a lecture I get. My parents never forced me. Um, it was always a choice. It's like if I wanted to do it and if I was ready, like, you know, when you're younger, I was really excited to do it. And I do like the half day ones because I thought I was so special. <laughs> oh my God, I did it. Yeah. Right. What's the long one for you? Uh, whilst growing up, do you still get a gift from your parents at the end of Ramadan, especially on Eid al-Fitr? Yes, and it's the part I look forward to, wow. to the most. Yeah, I normally get jewellery, clothes, right? jewellery. And lots of jewellery yeah. then. <laughs> your parents <laughs> love you. <laughs> yes and no. So sometimes my dad gives me, like when I was younger, they used to always give me idea. Mm. But now, not anymore. I'm too old for this now. Are you? <laughs> to be fair, I give my niece and my nephews gifts. I don't get gifts. However, what I, I, what I get of my mum yeah. is I get the blessing of her hugging me. <laughs> Not now. I think they think I'm old enough. Like, what the hell? And especially my grandparents aren't here, so. Yeah. As in, my mum told me, you might as well, you need to start giving me an idea. And I'm like, stick you on. <laughs> yeah, we're the ones working now. Yeah. Mm. We always, uh, we have a tradition. Every Eid, um, my dad gives us one pound, and that we wow. call Eidi. So like before it used to be like five pound, but now I'm getting like fifties. I'm getting pinkies now. <laughs> my dad, you know, had explained that he Eidi should was something that should be affordable to all, right? And it should be something which is a token. I see. He gives us more on the side. Yes. He will then top up with whatever he wants yes. to give us, gifts, gift, extra yes. money, which is easier for him. Yes. Um, but we always get one pound Eidi. To say oh, Eid, that's good. Eid, Eid Mubarak. That, 
That, no. I, th- I think that's that's a very good gift. No, I get shout that's, from, that's me. Well, I get shout from my mom. She's shouting at me in the morning. Get up! It's eight. You need to go pray. You're missing out praise. Yeah, that's true as well. Yeah.